Vasya, welcome to Inside Albania. Thank you for joining me today and thank you for your time with this interview. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you for inviting me. Now, our audience is varied. There's Albania, Kosovo, but there's also a lot of people outside of Albania, people who are not Albanian, who might not be familiar with your story. So with the greatest sensitivity, can you tell me your story, which started or part of it, which started on the 14th of April, 1999? Yes, uh, first of all, I would like to apologize for the ones. They already heard my story many times. Uh, it's not something that uh, they should hear it a lot of times, but for the ones that they haven't heard it. Uh, when I was uh, 16 during 1999 in Kosovo War, I was abducted by a Serbian police officer and uh, I was uh, raped by uh, two persons. And what happened? After this, I mean, obviously this, this, you were abducted and, and this horrific crime was committed against you. What was the aftermath of this? What happened afterwards for you? Um, life changed as, uh, in most cases, in most countries, as people my age that were celebrating their 16th birthday. And for me, it was time to have to hit in the mountains and making sure I don't get captured again or abducted and raped. That was the biggest fear. It was getting raped again. Mm -hmm. I was not worried about being killed. As a matter of fact, I begged my rapist to kill me because I, I don't want to go through the torture. I'd rather been killed. I, I, I don't know what to, what to say to that. And your family, I mean, you made your way back to your family afterwards. And what happened sort of from that moment? I, yes, I made my way back home to my uncle's house. And uh, then we went uh, next village to my sister's for the night. And then the very next morning, KLA fighters, they came and they took me to their, um, to the, to the uh, KLA base where I testified. I gave my statement to the commander over there. And from that point, we stayed in the mountains, almost to the war ended in Kosovo, we're living in the mountains. Mm 